guys and welcome back to my channel we are back with part two of $100 challenge at Marshalls and I'm once again joined by Peter this time I'm shopping for him since last time you shopped for me so quick ground rules as to how this challenge works I don't know if anybody's ever done this challenge before but essentially we just kind of chose to do it ourselves I think we may have created it you guys know of anybody really? else Maybe, I don't know, I honestly have never seen anybody else do it. I've never really searched. Is that original, eh? Maybe. We'll see. If you guys know of anybody else that does this challenge, please let me know because I would don't love to watch. No, I want to know because no. I would love to watch and see how successful no. other people Just are. pretend they, you never saw it. Anyways. anyways, jumping back into today's video. So, we have access to a car this week and I... That's... That's Kobe rumbling around inside of the bag of some stuff that I got for Peter. Prefacing that we already went out and shopped for Peter. And then we're coming back to the intro and outro because why not? He also does not know what I bought him, so don't worry. He has nope. no idea what's happening here. Except for the fact well, that... Well, I do have an idea of what's happening. Yeah, you have an idea of what's happening. So well, let's just touch base on the quick ground rules again one more time. Essentially the goal was to shop in one hour to only spend a hundred dollars and to see if... Pre I, or post tax? I think pre. Pre-tax. And then to spend a hundred dollars pre-tax and see if I could create three full fall looks for Peter that he would wear. Ideally according to the season right now because it is fall. That would be a challenge because fall clothes are typically a little bit more pricey than summer clothes because they use up more fabric. There's sweaters instead of like tank tops. And then also how well was I able to stay with Peter's personal style when shopping for him? Not just buy clothes all willy-nilly like somebody did here for me last Isn't time. That's part of my stipulations. That's always part of the stipulation. Nope. If you guys no, haven't seen that video yet, I'm going to link it in the down bar below so you guys can watch and see some of the passable outfits that Peter got for me as well as the like, I don't know what you were thinking outfit that you also Ooh. got for me. If you watch, you'll know exactly what I was thinking. No, yeah, that was a bad idea. That was not a good outfit. It was outfit. pretty great. I'm really happy with myself still. Oh, this is like happy. three weeks ago and I'm still happy. I don't know, man. I feel like that was not an accurate uh, challenge just to see whether or not you knew how I... I dress them out on an everyday basis. I think I won. We'll see. I haven't showed you the outfits I got you yet. So, are you ready? I'm the winner. Are you ready? Winner, winner. All right, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so we've made it to the Marshalls. About to head in to pick the three outfits for Peter. I'm honestly really hoping that I can stay under the hundred dollars because I don't think I'm gonna luck out and get one piece of clothing that isn't charged like the way he did when we did the challenge I'm a for him. I don't think that's hustling. I think that I'm was just hustler. human error. So fingers crossed, I can actually get three full outfits. And I'm also gonna try not to cheat like he did, did and reuse cheat. bottoms. I don't cheat. He reused bottoms for two outfits. So I said cheat. three full different outfits that you would wear. Not cheating, getting free clothes, and trolling outfits. I'm a bored hustler. Literally didn't follow any of the rules. So we're gonna head inside, see what we can find, and then afterwards we'll head back home and show you all the pieces and make Peter try them on. Let's go. All right, so we've made it inside. It is currently 12.38. I have one hour, so I have to be out of here by 1.40. No, it's 12.39 now, so 1.40, 1.39. Let's see if I can do this. I'll find you in one hour. Have fun. First thing I'm finding is this shirt. I know Peter really likes this shirt, so these might be a look right here. The only thing is that it's 25 bucks. That's only gonna take up a quarter of the budget already, and I'm supposed to be creating three outfits. So I'm gonna grab one and just hang on to it for now. Hopefully I can find some other stuff that's cheaper, but I really like the print on this. It's kind of nice. A trick to shopping is to go straight to the clearance section so that I can see what I have that's available within my budget. That way I'm not wasting time getting things that are not going to fit in the budget. And here's a clearance section. Let's see what we can find. He is not a small, more medium. So maybe I can find some things in here for him. You know, since he got me a basketball shirt and Peter actually is a basketball fan, this might actually be a really good fit for him. So maybe I'll get him an athletic outfit as well, but I won't make it some atrocious leopard print rainbow leggings. I forgot to mention this shirt's also only 16 bucks, so that's definitely going to fit really well into my budget. So far, I also found this dress shirt for, I don't know, they're supposed to be on sale, but 
only saying 1999. It also looks kind of big for medium, but I thought it'd be a good option to have. I have the Raptors t-shirt as well. And I also still have the original dress shirt that we first pulled. Let's see if I can find some pants to match with this stuff. I don't know if I remember Peter's sizing. I remember him telling me he's like a 30-32 or 32-30. And to be honest, guys, I've never bought him pants before. So I don't know how this is going to work because I don't know what men's pants sizings are. I know it's like waist versus length, but I don't know which one's a waist, which one's a length. And I don't know which number that he is for either of them. So this is going to be a challenge, guys. I mean, I know he likes sports gear, so maybe I should get him like sweatpants to go with that t-shirt because I know he'll like that for sure. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch over to athletic wear. Okay, so we're checking out the tops for athletic wear to see if I can find him something. I know he loves sweaters. He always keeps buying more and more of them even though we don't need them. So you know, that'll be a win. Here's a nice Adidas one. But then I have to find something to wear underneath it. He can't just wear a sweater. So I don't think I'm gonna go with a zip up sweater. K-Swiss, when was the last time you guys saw K-Swiss anything? I used to wear these shoes so much in middle school and high school. Okay, we're on to the pants now. Hopefully I can find out something that he'll like. $20 for these Puma tracks. I like this. I think I'm gonna pair this with the Raptors tee. Get that. Peter loves sweatpants and these ones are actually $19.99. So that's not bad price-wise. Maybe I'll hang on to that one for now and see if I can find a shirt to go along with it. Get back into the t-shirt clearance because I need to find him a tee to wear with the sweatpants now because usually he likes to wear like loose graphic tees along with them. So let's see what we can find. I know Peter's gonna be like, what the hell? It's just like a white t-shirt, but this is literally his everyday uniform at home. T-shirts and sweats and it helps that this one's only nine bucks. So I'm gonna put this together with the sweatpants. I'm gonna give you guys a quick recap of what we have outfits wise so far. There's this white t-shirt for 10 bucks, gray sweatpants for 20, so that's $30. And then we also have this red Raptor shirt for 16 bucks. So 30 plus 16 is 46, not bad budget wise so far. Also pairing it together with these Puma track joggers. I think these ones were in sale for 20, so 20 bucks. So now that makes us 46 to 66. And that means I have around $33 to make one last outfit. I'm trying to see if there's some sweaters I can find for a decent price. Price because everything else is so freaking expensive. Ugh, I swear, is it because they use so much more material on the clothes here? Do a time check in and see where we're at. Currently 12.53, so doing well so far. It hasn't even been really like 10 minutes-ish. Back in the pants section, a pants proved to be the most difficult to find because they're freaking expensive, guys. I've been having trouble finding pants that are under like 20 some dollars, but I'm back in the clearance section. I did find these Volcom ones. I don't think Peter's ever worn Volcom pants before. These ones are for 16 and there's two different colors. There's this light one, which I know is safe and he'll definitely wear it because he has a lot of pants in this color. But there's also this like really dark olive tone, which is really pretty. And I actually think paired together with this blue dress shirt, the two of these paired together actually look really nice side by side together. So I think I'm gonna get this one because this is 20 bucks and this one is 16, so that puts me at 36. I'm gonna be a little bit over 100. So I'm gonna sift through the rest of the pants to see what else I can find, but I've literally sifted through all of the men's clothes and there's not that much in clearance. And it's actually really hard to find fall or winter priced clothing that is not too expensive because we're in the midst of winter or fall right now, so everything's essentially like full price. And the jeans are just like not his style. All of them are super boot cut or flare, which is strange. Although they have a shit ton of rips in them. And Peter doesn't really wear a lot of rips in his pants. He does, but like not that much. So I think I'm gonna go with this set and then I'll show you guys what I get and then we'll cash out and go home and get him and try on the pieces. Success! We have our haul. Let's head back home. So jumping right into the order of business, we're gonna review this receipt so we can see how close I was to the hundred dollars. So okay. the rule was $100 pre-tax. In Ontario, we have 13% tax, which is really freaking high for anybody who's watching the States. If you guys are in states that don't have any sales tax at all, or you have like 6%, be happy. 13 is high. So we decided pre-tax just to make sure it was fair and accountable for so that we'd be able to cram everything into three outfits. So I may have gone over just a tiny bit. <laughs> My pre-tax subtotal is 10202. What, what? Pre-tax? Pre-tax is $102 and two cents. How did you get to two cents? I don't know, it just came to that. Because one of the items was like, you oh, 97 oh no, 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 because I, no, there were 3 dollars but I had to pay five cents for a bag, so I forgot to bring a bag. So can we count that out, or is that part of it? Well, it doesn't matter, you still went over. I went over. Fact of the matter is I went over. And but then after come on, tax, bring a bag. One fifteen twenty eight. I had a bag in the car too, and then I didn't even think about it until I was in the line to pay, and it clued into me the last time you also had to pay five cents for a bag, and I was like, oh shoot, I should have brought my bag in with me. 
Should have known better. Okay, so I didn't meet the requirement of hundred dollars. I win automatically. But it was close. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. You had a lot of factors in your favor, such as she didn't put one of the pieces I through the cash. Been under. I don't think so. I was at ninety two before I when it went. I also when got I had full it. six pieces. You didn't get all full six pieces. I don't you only got five. I don't care. No. I won. You paid for four pieces. I won. You just lost. You automatically lost. Anyways, let's just go check Winner. out the outfits. No chicken dinner for you though. So outfit number one. Don't peek. Um, wait, what do you want me to do? Okay. So outfit number one is this. What the hell is this? It's a dress shirt. Picked it as a medium, but it looks a lot bigger than. What medium. is this? It's a dress shirt. I actually really like the material. It's soft, eh? Yeah, but what is this print? I don't know. It's like a... Look at it. It's like a blue pebbly texture. Sure. But this shirt was $19.99. Nice. So I developed um, a tactic for this to only shop the clearance section. Yeah. When I went in. Because I figured there's no point even bothering to... This uh, shirt place. is made from recycled plastic bottles. See? Not only financially conscious, but environmentally conscious as well. And it has like a nice brush cotton feeling. It feels soft. It's also from... Mont Royal. What do you think of the shirt? Rue Sympathique. Okay. What do you think of the shirt though? I know you like to wear your dress shirts. That's why I was like, okay, cool. this. Okay. I'd rock this. And to go with the shirt. I don't like this button though. There's a button on like the breast pocket. Whatever. You can, un weird. You can unbutton and no one will see it. I know. I'm just telling you. You ask and I deliver. Okay. Jeez. Okay. So to pair with that, I got you a pair of these dark khaki pants. I... Couldn't remember what your measurements went like. I know that there's a 30 and that there's a 32 involved in there, but I didn't know which order it was. Why don't you just ask me? I don't know. I was too lazy to text Silly. you. Silly. Okay, so which one's 30, your waist or your length? My length. And 32 is your waist? 31 waist. Okay, well, like. I got you 30 waist and it doesn't say anything else. Oh, also these are on sale for 16 bucks, guys! Yeah! I like sale. What do you think? Do you like them? It says uh, modern fit. I hope that they fit well. They're from Volcom. Okay, they just look like generic khakis. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I, th I like the color between the blue and the olive. I thought that was kind of nice. There was like a lighter version of this, like a really light khaki, but I felt like you already had a lot of pants like that, and this is different. I don't think you have anything yeah. in this color yet, right? it kind of matches my pants. Kind of does, and like, I remember you really liked this kind of color, and who else did you just recently pick a shirt for in that color? Was it Richard? What? The linen shirt, was that a Uniqlo? Didn't you pick a shirt for him? Did I? Muji. Muji, the dress shirt in the olive green color. Did he get an olive green shirt? Yes, he did. Okay. I think it was this I can't, color. I just didn't remember. I if just he remember got it seeing it, and I was like, "That's a really nice shirt." So this is outfit number fall. one. Thoughts? We'll see. We'll see. But do you like it right now as you're looking at them? We'll see. Okay, so let's jump right into we'll Peter see. trying them on. Outfit number two, I got you home Sweat clothes pants. because I know you love to wear clothes at home that are comfy all the time. So first thing I got you was this really, really soft white t-shirt and it's also v-neck like the way you like them. Feel it. It's so nice. This and these, is a very soft shirt. This shirt was $9.99. It says ultra soft. Right? Sleepwear. Sleepwear. Live life active. Sleepwear. That makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> Why would you actively wear sleepwear? I don't know, I thought it looked like a nice white t-shirt that you would wear because you wear v simple v-neck tees at home all the time when you're just like lounging around. I do. And then to pair with it, I got you a pair of these super like Whoa. comfy gray joggers because I know you love your joggers, you're obsessed with them. And these have like the rib texture around like the knees. You typically like having a little bit of You know what these are called? Pants. No, knee pad, knee patches? No, <laughs> knee pads. I don't know, what is this called? Uh, when you have jeans with this stuff, they're called biker jeans. Moto jeans? No, biker jeans. Why? Legit. I don't know. Is it for Cause... texture when you like fall on the floor Maybe. after riding a bike? I guess so. Maybe bikers like it. Well, yeah. Also, these pants were $19.99. Good find. It was hard to find pants that were cheaper than 20 bucks, guys. Like really freaking hard. Besides leggings, and I don't think you would wear leggings as pants. No. I had a hard time no, looking for pants for you me. that were at a Ooh, decent price. The triple five sole. I don't know what that means. Remember, you don't remember triple five sole? I didn't shop from those stores oh. like Echo and stuff like that, but it, oh. it rings a bell ish. These used to be so cool back ooh, in the day. Ooh. Secret compartment? There's a hidden pocket in the back. Is that? Surprising? Yeah, it's an actual functional pocket too. I hate when you buy clothes and they have fake pockets. Like, you know when they just have like a little flap here and it looks like a real pocket and you try to put your hands in and there's nothing there? They're pants, bro. I've had those in a lot of my pants, trust me. 
Trust me. Not in male pants. Anyways, male pants are all about utilitarianism. What do you think of this outfit? I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like being comfortable. I knew you would like this one. Are you serious? <laughs> What kind of question is that? Okay, let's jump right into Peter trying on outfit number two. to outfit number three the very very last one are you ready for this are you ready are you i promise you these outfits are all ones that you'll like uh-huh that's what they all say that's what i said too Ta-da! <laughs> because remember he got me a raptor shirt i also got you a raptor shirt except this is more fitting for you because you actually watch basketball you basketball couldn't find fan. like a nicer print no this is the only raptor shirt that i had I could oh, find really also lame. it's mainly because it was on sale for 16 bucks as well. Yeah, see, that's just cheating. Okay, the men's section at the Marshalls that we went to barely had anything in the sales section. It was literally all summer clothes. It was so hard for me to find anything fall related whatsoever at all. I think because mainly right now we're in fall season, so they're Duh. not putting anything on sale. Why would it be on sale? And it was really hard for me to stay within the $100 budget if I shopped for the full didn't. price stuff there. And you didn't. I tried my best. You so didn't. this is a shirt. Let me show you the pants that go along with it. I think you'll like the pants. I got you track pants. Ta da! These are from Puma. They're Ooh, super fancy. soft. They feel like the, the dry, the dry, dry fit? Yeah. Is that what they're called? That's yeah. What it is. Dry yeah. fit. And then they have these like zips on the side of the bottom. They're tapered. And it they're says Puma tapered. here. It is tapered from the top to bottom. Look. What? It gets tapered in a bit. Oh. And it's like baggy crotch. So it does. Like you like the baggy crotch. So this is outfit number three. I do like baggy three. crotch. Baggy crotch is key. I feel like I'm hearing a lot of very enthusiastic and words of appraisal right now, such as, I like. Yes, I'm very me. enthusiastic. This is my style. This so is I so... feel like I'm winning all these outfits so this far. This is such a winner. I'm so enthusiastic right now. Turn up the volume a little bit. Why Holy is your voice crap. so flat? I cannot be any happier with these choices. Okay, let's go jump into outfit number Please three. Please help and watch me them contain on. my excitement right now. Stop. <laughs> Slipping through the water. So now that you guys have seen Peter in all three outfits, what are your thoughts on them? All of them? You like all of them? You're not. Come on, you gotta give me an overall rating. Number one. Uh, I could have done with better pants. Seriously? Yeah, I don't like those pants. Why not? I don't like the color. Just because I suggest it to somebody else doesn't mean I want it for myself. Why would you suggest it to someone else if you don't like it? Because I don't like it for myself. But what if some, I know someone else would like it? Okay, whatever. Okay, okay, Bang. number two. Which one was number two? The gray sweatpants and the white t-shirt. Nah, that's like a cop out. You literally yeah. got me clothes like that too. You got me leggings and two sweaters for mine. Yeah, but my sweaters look really good. Hey, and they were fall clothes. Listen, the sweatpants is fall. You got me leggings at the bottom. Leggings aren't really fall. Leggings for like year-round. These year sweatpants? Round. I'm still gonna have to wear a jacket on top of the sweaters. These sweatpants? These are pretty sick. Don't lie. I don't They're all them. right. They're all right. Okay, and then outfit number three with the raptor shirt and the Puma the Puma track pants. I don't want the raptor shirt. Okay, but what about the outfit overall in general? The pants I don't want good. the raptor shirt either. The pants are good. The pants continuity of red to shirt is good. The pants are good. See, I think I did pretty well overall. Out of six things, you got like two. What do you mean? You don't like the shirt for the first outfit? Nah. You don't like, okay, what do you like? You like these pants? What about the sweatpants? Nah. That's why I know you no, like I'm them. No, I'm serious. Okay, what about the t-shirt? Which t-shirt? The oh, white one? Yeah. It's just a white t-shirt. I'm, I'm not gonna wear this t-shirt outside. You know why? Because it's a sleepwear? Yeah, no. Well, one, you can now obviously tell because it's like super stretchy. And two, it wrinkles too much. That's the issue. If you're like sitting around and stuff, like look at this. Okay. If you're sh if you're sitting around and you're sure Listen, wrinkles. I tried. No, sleepwear there's, shows wrinkles more. That's there's what I'm not telling a lot of you. options when it comes to men there. The section is so limited compared to the women's size. I swear to God, the men's size is like half the size of the women's size. Welcome to shopping for men. This is what I deal with. That's why it's hard to shop at Marshalls. 
Anyways, I think I did reasonably okay. He's just extremely picky about clothes. No, I I'm try not. to shop for you. I am not. In other places, and this usually happens. He's like, I don't like this, and I don't like that. So it's not picky. I'm best. I just like what I like. Anyways, thank you so much for you watching. Lose. I win. Fine, you win this round. <laughs> Sucker. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of me shopping for Peter and completing this $100 challenge. We will be back next time. I think the next one we have in in the top of our minds is probably to try it at Walmart just to see what Whoa. we can put together for $100. I don't know if that's a challenge or not because I honestly have not shopped for clothes in Walmart in a long time. What about you? I actually mm. don't buy clothing from Walmart. I buy more home, like home things. From time to time, I buy underpants at Walmart and undershirts. I mean socks, yeah. Like basics, nothing like like fashion, fashion. But I heard they have some really nice new things, so we may come into luck when we shop there next. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have an awesome day, and until we see you guys next time, bye. Comment on the winner. <laughs>